What's up guys? Iceman here. So, do you guys think it's worth it? Spending your entire life chasing ass? Let me know in the comments below. You know, dog, when I was a younger man, man, looking back, I feel like everything I did and sought out to do, it kind of revolved around the pursuit of eating ass, okay? <clears throat> what the fuck? Like, I started working out, okay? When I was a teenager. And even to this day, I've got the gym and all that. Just wanting to get more, like, muscular and stuff, right? I mean, I was always a tall guy, all right? With shoes on, about 6'4", a little over 6'4", with shoes on. Tall as fuck. Teeth were kind of fucked up for a while. Look at this. I got uh, braces not too long back. <clears throat> a little late in the game, ice boy. God damn, a little late in the game. Got the braces and all that, and <clears throat> pretty happy with them now, to be honest with you guys. <sighs> yeah, teeth were fucked up though, a little crooked and shit. Scared to get braces when I was a kid, just didn't want to do it, thought it was going to hurt. And yeah, it was tedious, but it would have been well worth it. You know, I should have done it. It was stupid. But, uh... Yeah, so I had some things going for me, some things going against me, you know, like I said, the teeth kind of fucked up. I could have had a better diet, you know, I was really, really skinny. Of course, it could have gone the other way, but then I was 18, 19, started filling out with muscle. And then 20, 21, probably the most muscular I've ever been. 22, 23, 24, pretty muscular. Just bust my ass in the gym. I just remember... I mean, I think the kind of the driving motivator was just trying to get ass. What the fuck? It just seems like like I'd go here, go there, do this, do that. I didn't have my priorities straight though, man, because I didn't know what the toad I was gonna do, like for a living, you know, to make money or whatever. So I really put the freaking carriage before the horse, if you will. That's, that's not a sound way to do things, especially when it comes to pursuing women. That was a bad idea. Yeah, it's important to get on your grind and kind of uh, indulge in your passion if that's what you're going to do before you start really going hard in on getting ass, you know? <clears throat> it just makes it a lot easier when you're actually when you're not trying to just act like uh, you haven't figured out but when you actually kind of do in terms of uh, just are you at uh, you know can you provide for yourself and are you at, at a, uh, a place of mental peace and uh, and are you pleased with your grind you know what I mean it's kind of beside the point here but do you guys think that you spent a lot of your time just chasing ass? Let me know in the comments. And just think about the decisions you made growing up and all that. <clears throat> Do you think it kind of all revolved around that? Man. I mean, on one hand, it would almost seem like it was kind of a waste of time. It can kind of become advice. You know, whatever it is that, that you really put up on a pedestal in life. <clears throat> and 
don't a lot of guys do that with bitches? You think it's worth it? <clears throat> and do you guys see the ones of today? Like, by the time they're 25 or something, haven't they already had like a hundred cocks going through them? Is this endeavor really worth it? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thing is, it's like, they're just humans too. It's kind of fucking gross if you think about it. Like, in the United States, for example, most bitches, they don't even use bidets to clean their fucking ass. And they have very poor diets. So they have... Not very clean down there, man. Alright. And with Tinder and all that bullshit, aren't most of them disease-ridden anyway? Like, do you really want to have some bacteria eating your fucking dick off? Let me know in the comments below. God damn! Yeah, it's like that toilet paper just grinding against your fucking skin and cleaning shit. Literally. Alright? But I mean, that's kind of beside the point, too. Wow. You know, thank the creator that I wasn't born to be in like this current early generation. You know, thank the creator that I am kind of getting old. You just don't really give a fuck anymore. You're kind of disgusted by everything is one of the routes you might go down as you start to get older. Uh, to where it's really a blessing to be that much closer to death. To where you can exit this cursed existence. All this toil and sweating of the brow where time and chance happen to all things. You know what I'm saying? Too much chance, man. Like through my days, I have seen that the race isn't for the swift, dog. All right? And the battle isn't to the strong. No. Or the reward for the worthy. But time and chance happen to all things. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments below. But, uh... Without that pursuit, I mean, what is there? You know, some say that, like, our nature is the driving force. Which seems to line up. You know, it's just all about reproduction and all that, and just continuing on with this cursed species. Because that's a good idea or something. You know, it's a good idea to subject a bunch more lives to this existence where they gain some things and then they rot and die and suffer. You know, apparently that's a good idea. Uh, and on some, in some instances, they, they live a relatively good life. You know, they, they enjoy this and that and not too many bad things happen to them. Yeah, they lose a lot of loved ones to death and suffering, but not too many. And then they die a, a, a slightly less miserable death. And then their existence is obliterated. You know, yeah, some go in that direction. You know, good for them.
But once they go back into the dirt from which they came, can they really derive anything from this? Can they look back and be like, oh, I'm glad I ate that nice ass. Or, oh, I'm glad I... I'm glad I accomplished this or that and the other thing. Glad I busted my ass for this and that. I and mean, I don't want to get off track here, man. Like, it's good to, uh... It's good to find peace and make the most of the day, isn't it? And to just try to find joy in the toil at which you toil under the sun in this evil day. Yeah, it's good to do that. But you know what, man? In the coming age of ice, the crooked will be made straight and the hose will be made clean. As hard as that is to fucking imagine. Yeah. In the coming age of ice. Hmm. And to be honest with you guys, I don't think there's even going to be any fat bitches there. Hmm. Wow. Can you imagine that? Well, if you guys will like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Become a patron if you want to support me. Thank you to my support. Thank you to my patrons. Blessings to you. May your finances be blessed. Links in the description below if you want to support me. And may you have many wives. Peace with you.